What's up guys, it's Will from TechBeat TV bringing to you a quick review on an application, a Mac application that I have, you know, tried out for a few weeks now and I'm pretty impressed. This is the MacKeeper. It's, this is the website that their company is based out of. Um, it's MacKeeper.zeobit.com. Essentially, I was looking for an app to kind of tidy up and, you know, maintain your Mac, right? Clean out cache files. Um, etc. And when I was on Windows, I had used CC Cleaner, worked fantastically uh, for Mac, uh, wanted to find out if there was a, you know, a better option out there. And I found MacKeeper and I, you know, tested it out, contacted the manufacturer. You know, full disclosure, I did get a free license from them. And, but again, I tried out their application and I actually really do like it. However, there are a few caveats to that. So this is their website, but when you start up the application, this is what it looks like. Uh, what I'll mainly cover is the cleaner section. Um, you can go into the various other tools that they provide, but what I've really been using them for or using MacKeeper for is this cleaner section. So what you can do is you click on one click scan and it essentially searches through your entire desktop um, or laptop for various things that consume space or could hinder the performance of your Mac going into each one of these sections binaries is essentially um, every application on a Mac has two various versions which is one is for PowerPC one is for Intel based Macs and this basically looks at your system figures out which CPU you're using and removes those that your computer can't utilize at all so those cuts out that cache cleaner pretty self-explanatory you search through and you remove components from your desktop uh, from programs that kind of cache files so that they can start up faster or more easily but over time again it consumes more space on your computer which you can free up duplicates it's essentially duplicate files that it searches on your desktop uh, or laptop that you can delete um, however uh, you know again it's not checked off here um, I'm kind of jumping ahead a little bit, but essentially you can either check or uncheck items that you want to delete. For Languages Cutter, cuts out pretty much that's it. Unless, other than your default um, language that you have on your desktop or laptop, you can you know remove all the other ones that you won't ever use. You know, Finnish, Estonian, um, so that'll free up some space. Log Cleaner, essentially cache files such as surfing the internet, that type of deal, it removes those, and old files finder, which searches given a uh, threshold, let's say a month, two months, it'll find all those files that are greater than that, that you haven't opened or haven't used since then, and highlights them as being files that they can potentially uh, remove. So there you have it, guys, that's MacKeeper. However, there's one caveat to this that, you know, it's not really a downside. It's still beneficial, but along, you know, along the lines of any program you use, you got to be aware that it can't do everything for you. So what I'm going to say to that is, some of these cleaners are auto-checked. So binaries cutter, cache cleaner, not duplicates. Language is automatically logged. Log cleaner is, and old files isn't. There's a reason for that. If you check here, um, some of these line items: Texas Hold'em, Incredible Hulk, Plants vs Zombies. Some of these are my iPad or uh, iPhone um, files that I use, that I need to sync. And it will search these because I haven't opened them in a while because, you know, obviously since it's synced and I haven't usually, you know, these files don't get opened quite often, um, it'll be highlighted in here. And if you blindly just check all or uncheck, you could potentially delete files that, that you need in the future. So that's one. So be sure that before you, you know, click remove that you look through every line item at least in those sections and delete them as necessary the other um, issue that i had minor issue but i ran the binaries cutter clash cleaner and, and didn't uncheck like duplicates logs uh duplicates or old files and ran the cleaner on everything else suddenly stuff in my firefox and safari wouldn't load on certain pages and the reason why i found out was it was deleting aspects of flash from my computer that caused some pages to not load properly so i had to reinstall flash so i don't know if this is a bug 
I don't know if it's something I'm doing wrong when I'm, you know, selecting remove, but it's an issue that I brought up and I, I ran into during those weeks. But all in all, great program. Again, the user can make um, changes and, and, and produce errors and produce problems later on. So it's only as powerful as the user makes it. So there you have it, guys. That's my review of MacKeeper. Highly advise you to check out their site. It's MacKeeper.zobit.com. And, you know, check it out, um, see for yourself, and then you decide whether it's good for your uh, uses and the purposes that you have in mind or, or not. All right, that's it for uh, me, guys. Um, again, please thumbs up, please subscribe, and I'll check you guys real soon. Peace.